Hello everybody, I am back with some Bullet Force news, some huge news, some big news. Normally with Bullet Force, I record a bunch of clips, chop them up together, and then do a voiceover. Uh, today's going to be live commentary. And the reason why is I finally got decent at the game, so I feel a little bit more comfortable just going into multiplayer. Um, I kind of sucked before. The game was so different because it's kind of built around Battlefield. It just feels so different than the third-person shooters I play than Modern Combat 5 and Critical Ops. It's very unique, and I had to get used to the recoil, the way you run everything, and I'm telling you, I'm really liking this game right now. Uh, the developers have done an amazing job. So a couple things I'll show you real quick. This is the new home screen. They're going to work on a few few more things, but the customized area. So you now got Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. You got three loadouts. You got your primary, secondary, your, thro your uh, throwable, which can be a throwing knife or some type of nade. You've got your kill streaks you can equip. Like I've got the nuke right now, 20 kills. I kill everybody on the map. Uh, we'll see if that happens. Uh, let me go back and see if I can ever get that. Then you can equip perks. Really cool. And all this is unlockable for free as you level up in the game. Okay? That, so that's kind of cool. So that's, that's a big thing. The other thing is, so you can join a match. You can create a server customized. Or you can go right into a quick play. He also added currency. Um, you've got gold. You can buy gold, you can watch ad for a gold, but basically what you do with gold is you can do one of two things, okay? So you can go and open cases, and cases have skins in them. The other thing you can use gold for is you can use gold to buy credits. What are credits used for? Credits are used to buy new weapons in the game. Um, by the way, you can play. You can play and unlock credits and just level up the weapons by themselves, but if some, some people don't like to play for a long period of time, to unlock all the stuff in the game. And so if you want to progress progress faster, you just buy some gold, buy some credits, and then you could lock everything, unlock um, the weapons early. Also, some unique items will be paid, but it's not anything that's like pay to win. It's like things like the butterfly knife, which is just more cool looking. I think uh, that's going to cost gold and you can watch ads. And then I think they're going to be adding events um, as well to earn gold. So a lot of different ways to earn gold. Let's get right into quick play. Yeah, we've got free for all back, which is awesome. And then this other game, you guys know this game. Hopefully, everybody knows this game. Gun game. Oh my gosh, this is so fun to play. Gun game, uh, especially when you're playing with your friends. Where every time, uh, every two kills, you switch weapons to a random weapon, and it's just it's a blast. We're gonna go into free for all though. Is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're going into ruins. All right, we cut it. We cut it. We're going into urban. Uh, I hate ruins. I hate that map. The developer's gonna take it out. That's like one of the first maps. He made. Let's go in with the MPX. Coming in with this sweet skin. Look at the, uh, look at the, this skin is electric, I believe, is the name of it. And it's purple. And it just kind of is see-through-y. It's cool. Really cool. There's another one called Spectre. I believe that one's green. And then another blue one. He's added some really dope skins in the game. And this gun is awesome. I love the MPX. MPX. Also, check out the butterfly knife. It's got like this magma movement on it. So, the developers have been adding some really, really dope skins in the game. Uh, they're working on two new maps, which when they bring those out, that's going to be huge. The maps are going to be much better than what we have now. And the gameplay is just awesome. It's smooth. Oh my gosh, there are so many people out there. They were all spawned together. I could have gotten like a quad, dude. Uh, wish I had sniper. That would have been awesome. All right, come on, troops. Surround me. This guy is OP. Go for it, dude. Yeah, we got him. We got him. All right, here comes somebody right here. Also, let's talk about release. Let's talk about release date. Every game takes longer to release than the players want. You gotta understand that. It always takes longer. In fact, we thought Critical Ops was gonna be out for iOS like forever ago. Is it out? Nope. Been delayed, 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 I swear. I don't know why it's been delayed. Okay, back me up, dude. Back me up. Okay, this is a uh, this is a short range range weapon, which is not the best for this map, but that's okay. I think we're gonna get up in their spawn now. Get us that quad we've been waiting for. Woo, there we go. So what the developer's done is they're uh, beta testing on Android, like huge. Uh, there's a good chance you can get the game on Android right now. Um, I think he's opened it up where the capacity is, and so I just got my UAV. So once I turn that on, it's going to show where the other players are. We've got it. We're going to go find this guy at spawn, and he's hanging out here. So you can get it for Android, pretty, uh, but not technically out. iOS is still in beta. All right, I don't want to give months because I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. It, these things always take longer than we hope. Um, but Android is is very, very close, I believe, to being released. All right, let's kill this guy. We're going to get our nuke, dude. We're going to get our nuke live right now. We're going to have to pick up somebody's weapon. This guy's camping in the corner. 
You see how smooth the gameplay is, guys? And I wish I could say that I'm like the best player ever. Oh, I got to crouch. I got to crouch. Hopefully these guys get, get to my back. Can I shoot these guys from that far? I think I picked up a kill. Okay, we have to put this down. Put this down. They're waiting. Well, they're waiting there. All right, back me up, homie. Back me up. Go get them. Go get them, Sarge. We're going to get our nuke live right now. What the heck? That guy was just camping in the corner. So awesome. Yeah, but I wish I could say it was because I was good and OP at the game. I'm better at the game, but seriously, the game is just amazing. Like, I love the gameplay. It's my favorite FPS to play right now over Critical Ops and Modern Combat 5. And I'm not just saying that. Admit, that might be because it's new, but I just like the game. I didn't even see that guy. What are we going? Going 12-2, and two, baby. Let's go. Don't know what the score limit is. So, I think that's it for the news. Um, I stream this game a lot. Uh, I typically stream it with the developer, so if you want more information on the game, you want to talk to the developer, ask the developer questions, you know, come on in. Come on into one of my streams. I'm going to try to do this game, you know, once once a week. Um, or if I'm busy, maybe once every two, once every other week on Mob Crush. Uh, I'll be bringing the game more regularly to YouTube when it's not in beta. Okay, I don't want to keep teasing you guys with the game that you guys can't download yet. But Android, go ahead and give it a try. Um, not technically released, but you can sign up. And I think there's a good chance you can get the game. Don't quote me on that. And don't hate me if you can't get it. iOS, you're just going to have to continue to be patient. Uh, where am I getting hit from? I want that UAV. Oh, gosh. I just turned it on when they had the counter UAV. That was stupid, Chase. Why'd you do that? All right. That guy backed me up. I turned on my UAV. See, see how it's all gray? That's the counter UAV. Somebody put, equipped the counter UAV. I think that's a nade. Be careful. Where are these dudes at? Oh, there's a laser. Oh, that's weird. You can put lasers on the guns, dude. Help with the aim. And there's a ton of guys there. I have to run away. There's no freak. Oh, what the freak? Oh, he got me with the... Uh, that's like the first weapon. Kind of like the compact. MC5 is what that gun reminds me of. All right, we're going to keep playing because we're having fun. But yeah, throwing knives. The butterfly knife is pretty sick. Looks so dope. Especially with this magma skin. Pretty awesome. No, the game's not going to be pay to play. Or pay to win. Excuse me. <clears throat> we like pay to win, pay to play. We don't like pay to win, right? Huge difference there. Uh, did I get the kill? I did. And good, good variety of weapons. Uh, they're gonna be bringing a lot more weapons to the game. Okay, we're gonna scope in. We're just gonna go ahead and hang behind this guy. Let him absorb any damage on us. I don't know if this map is gonna stay, but I know the two new maps that are coming are gonna be beast. Uh, I do like prison is awesome. Office has had some major upgrades to it. Maps were so much better than when the first game was first released. That's for freaking sure. So much better. Okay, this guy's around the corner. Nope, he ran away. Okay, here comes a two-piece. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, I have to run away. Let's get the counter UAV going. And this guy's... Go absorb damage for me, buddy. Where did you go? Is he down there? There he is. This, this, is, this gun's a good hip-fire gun. All right, let's try to get one bolt. Let's try to get one butter. Oh, gosh, I have to... I've got my jump in a weird spot. You have to jump right there. Did I get up on the ramp? Nope. What did I do? Oh, gosh. You noob, Chase. All right. Let's try to get one butterfly knife kill. Because uh, it just looks sick when you get a butterfly knife kill. They're kind of hard to get. But you can get on a streak. Okay. Come on this way. Looks like somebody's over here. We're going to run in that general direction. And if I get close enough to somebody, I'll whip that butterfly knife out and get a kill for you guys. Nobody's in the corner. Come on. They got to be up here. Where are you guys at? There's somebody Good, we got the kill. Oh, okay, this guy's this guy's close enough. Here comes a butterfly knife kill. Boom! We did it! Butterfly Oh, I was gonna go for the double. Woo! There we go. Going 21 and 4. Uh, I know what you guys are thinking. You're look at these noobs. All oh, oh you idiots. Just get out of here. I'll turn the UA. I'm going my own way, man. I do not like <laughs> Well, that's what I get for not sticking with my team. I hate team versus, but nobody's playing free for all right now. Dang it. Tried to YOLO it around the corner and I just got killed so fast. That's what I get. Um, I know what everybody's thinking. You guys want to play this game. I I don't know. It's uh, it's a game that every time I play it, I just forget how freaking fun it is. It's so fun to play. Um, I really like it. One other thing I'll say, just because uh, I feel like people who watch these Bullet Force videos are or some of my originals. Hold on, here's a two-piece. Some of my original subscribers, some of my real-life friends. Um... Not the people who subscribe to me for, like, Pokemon Go and other crap like that, but, like, you guys who watch these videos typically have watched me for a while because you've been with me since 
Responsibles, Modern Combat 5, Critical Ops, Modern Combat 4, all that good stuff. Uh, what, what I did, because um, the developer, as a lot of you know, he, uh, he's a single developer making this game, which is incredible. And he has low on funds, so I gave him a sum of money. Um, it's, it's a substantial amount of money, okay? Um, a lot of money by, I think, a lot, a lot of people would, would say. Uh, and the reason I did that is because I believe in the game, and he needed money to make maps. He's young, he doesn't have a real job, and he's been financing this on his own. He needed money to make maps. And whether I get that money back or not, I don't really care. I like to support um, up-and-coming developers, and I was in a position financially where I could help them out, and I feel really good about that decision. And I made the same freaking mistake, and I turned my UAV on when they had the counter UAV. Why do I keep doing that crap? All right, there we go. I got my counter U. Oh, my gosh, there is a lot of guys. Holy crap! We just got a three-piece, baby. Oh, that was awesome. I just sprayed and prayed, okay? That, that's a seven kill streak. I just sprayed and prayed. That was no skill at all. I just turned on the trigger and just let it ride. Anyway, so yeah, I gave him a lot of, I gave him a, a sum of money. Um, cause I believe in the game. And so I'm going to be making a lot of videos on this game down the road because I do support the game. I do think it's a good game. And I think it's something that we as a community can get behind since it's not pay to win. Since it's so different than anything we've seen. Just a big difference from what the big corporations are putting out this is a game made by the players for the players it, it really is it's like a david and goliath story i love stories like that you know this game shouldn't shouldn't have a chance to succeed because it's not made by a big company not made by a big developer but it's it's going to succeed because it's that good is it going to be perfect no it's it's not going to be perfect because it's one person two people you know he's he's brought on other people with the money that um i've given him and some of the money he's um made you know uh, he's brought on other people to help. He has to, and uh, it's just a good game. I I think it's a David and Goliath story because it, he's up against all odds. Um, everybody's trying to derail him, and he wanted to release the game so long ago, but he just keeps encountering more hurdles here, more hurdles there, trying to figure out how to fix it in the code and so much stuff. So does he take my advice on the game? Um, typically not. I've given him a lot of advice, and... <coughs> Not advice. <coughs> Excuse me. Just like feedback. And uh, really the only thing he's listened to me about was uh, the UAV. I said you need to show enemies on the radar when they're outside your vicinity. Like if they're on the edge of the map so you can find them to keep the game faster paced. Uh, he just does what he wants to do and that's okay. You know, that's his right as a developer to do what he wants to do. I see players raging because they say, he's not listening to me. You know what? Who cares? Go find a different game then. Like he, he's, he's doing the best he can. Uh, nothing's going to be perfect, of course, but he's doing the best he can with what he has. And uh, he's doing a good job, in my opinion. All right, guys, that's going to be the video. The thing about these uh, matches, a lot of these are custom matches. I mean, they may have set the um, score limit, like, way high. Looks like we were at 34 and 11. Thanks for, so much for watching. I don't know what else to say. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I think the developer will be here at, um, answering questions. And Android users, showing you some love again. First to Critical Ops, now this. Android's getting the hookups for the betas right now, guys, but iOS hopefully coming soon. Take care, guys. Peace.